Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix Windows Error 0x8004005 which is also called Unspecified Error. Since it's as unspecified then it's not really easy to fix it, but the cause, the probable cause of it is either Windows Update problems, registry errors, or permissions. And to fix it, there are three steps. And it's worth checking um, if that problem is caused at a certain time when you, start, for, for example, start Windows, or when you try to open an app or do something some certain thing on your system. If it's caused then, then it's worth doing the first fix, trying to uh, revoke the error, trying to just simulate the error, see if it shows the error. If it doesn't, then it's fixed. If not, then go to the next step. If the error shows just independently of what you do on your computer, then it's worth doing all three things mm, to see if it all helps. So, um, first thing is uh, first thing is restarting Windows Update Services, and to do it is it's not too hard. Just search for CMD in search bar and run as administrator. If you can't do it that way, click on Windows and R on your keyboard, then type in CMD and click on Control Shift and Enter to open it as administrator. Now, type in net stop. I'm gonna zoom it in because. These letters are pretty small, especially if you're watching it on a small display. I'm gonna type in net stop uh, WUA user V like that. Click on enter. No, I might have broken some. I, I, did, I did it wrong. I'm pretty sure I did it wrong. So I'm just gonna double check the command because there's a high chance that I did it wrong. <laughs> uh, let's try. Um, Typing that in again. W U A, right? User V. Okay, but the service is not started. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I just didn't see what's here. I just was waiting for it to stop. Okay, so if it stopped, uh, then I'm gonna do net start. W U A user V. Wait until it starts. And now I'm gonna stop it. Then let's start it again. And now it started and that may help. <clears throat> uh, also, it's worth doing three other things, uh, which are um, net stopped cryptos for SVC. It's stopping. Then do net start crypt SVC. Okay, now I'm gonna do net stop uh, bits. It's not started, so let's start it first. Then let's stop it. And let's start it again. And now the last thing is gonna be the NetStop MSI server. I'm pretty sure that it also isn't started, so I'm gonna start it. Then let's stop it. And now let's start it. Okay, now let's get to the next thing, which is gonna be disabling antivirus and firewall temporarily to see if that causes the problem. Uh, so you may need to search for like security, open Windows security with this shield icon, then go to vi virus and threat protection and go to the virus and threat protection settings 
and now you may want to disable the settings here mm, that remember that that may make your device not scan for viruses so it's worth turning it back on if it didn't help with the issue uh, then firewall and in firewall select um, like whether it's private network public network I'm on private network now so I'm going to disable it here but you can also disable it on all networks although I wouldn't recommend doing it on public network um, yeah I'm just going doing it on private network because I'm pr connected to a private network see if it helps now if it doesn't then there's the last fix which is Windows and R on your keyboard to find run then type in percent temp percent click on OK enter and now let's clear the whole folder don't worry you won't delete anything important here because these are just temp files so will they will get restored automatically um, when it's needed so I'll select everything you can just click on Control a to select everything then let's click on delete key on the keyboard and wait until it in uh, until it deletes everything I'm gonna continue Um, that one file is open in know the program I'm just gonna skip it and I'm gonna click on do this for all current items so I'm gonna skip the files that are that cannot be deleted um, then I'm gonna ad provide administrator permissions to that file now just a few files weren't deleted uh, some of them just can't be deleted uh, because they are currently open in a certain program but I believe that it should help you once you delete most of them. And I hope that the video helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.